Hello folks. Well, my good friend Joe Cerna sent me a video of a fellow flying a full-size cub with one-bladed prop and asked if this was possible. I told him I'd done this many years ago with pylon racing airplanes and I'd experimented with them myself to prove their worth. So here is a video I made 13 years ago so you folks can see my experiments including my one-bladed helicopters and drones. To see all the original videos, I placed the links to them in the description box. So here we go. Will a one-bladed propeller work on the Hawk 3D? Well, back when we were younger kids, about 55 years ago, we couldn't afford new props when we broke them. We used to take the two broken props, cut the notch in the middle with the hole intact, balance them, and put them back together and fly again. I don't ever remember any failures with them either. Well, back in the 70s, I met Frank Johnson, who showed me plenty of one-bladed props that he used to race with. It seemed incredible to me, but the theory's not bad. Frank said that with a two-bladed prop, the first blade cuts and pushes the air, and the second blade runs into the interference and turbulence, and it's not as efficient. Well, that sounds logical. He also said when you do that, you need to make the blade a little bit longer than the stock blade to still push the equal amount of air. Well, that makes sense, too. So when Jeff broke his Nitroplane's Hawk 3D prop, I gave him my spare and I decided to try that one-bladed prop scenario again for fun and nostalgia. Here's how I did it. Folks, typically uh, with a two-bladed prop, they're spinning around, one blade creates some turbulence and the other blade runs into it. It's not entirely 100% efficient, but it does work pretty good. So if you're gonna go to a single-bladed prop, this is the stock prop right here, I'm going to just show how it works. Go to a single bladed prop, you don't run into any interference. However, the prop normally would be a little bit longer, as in the version that I made here with a little more pitch and a little wider. We're going to try the two and see how they fly. First, just if you broke the prop, this is the way I did it. Okay, this is the way the other one goes on. I used a different an adapter, not exactly the right size, why it's not quite as smooth. Let's see how it, how it spins up here. Oh boy, that's, that's, that's nice. They're not even doing anything, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have no problem flying. It's not going to be as fast as before, but it's going to fly okay. That's nice. One bladed prop. Let's give it a shot. Breezy out here today. One bladed prop balanced. There's no interference with the other blade, so it should be pretty smooth. I'm starting with the stock size prop just to set a reference point, know where to work from there. than the other one and uh, a different hub on here let's see how this one goes whoa that sucker goes holy cow You know, in all these experience on both planes and helis, I got longer battery run times due to the fact that it takes less power to turn one blade than two.
<laughs> yeah, it flies better. One plated prop. <laughs> now we got a socket head. See how this goes. No gyro here, folks. go folks one rotor blade on the next 30 this is the socket head <laughs> okay how about a one bladed MSR a one rotor blade MSR and no tail rotor Well, it's very maneuverable. It runs longer on a 150 milliamp LiPo. It costs less to make. You know, a set of blades gives you a spare always. And now that I know it works, I'm going to make a more aesthetic looking tail rotor and a little smaller too. Yes, it makes right and left turns. There's the hammer, and this is the Hammerhead Nexus 30 from Kyosha. So let's see if this will fly. Single rotor blade. Okay, I proved it works just like my other one-bladed helicopters that I have videos on. You may have seen them. I did not have to increase the pitch or make any adjustments. Well, these videos show that I began experimenting this 13 years ago with my Nexus Nitro and Hallies with single blades. And Adrian in Switzerland told me he was going to try it, and he did. Here are the clips from his video, 
And all the links to the other videos are in the description box so you can see. This is more. the counterweight. And yeah, everything's stuck. Out of the you see it's a Jive 80 h 3 Pilot today, Adrian, have fun. Well, folks, if it sounds stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. Hope this spurs you to experiment no matter what. You might surprise yourself. So thanks so kindly for watching, and happy flying. This is Dave the Night Flyer, signing off for now.